gold tone on a watch like this, what does it mean? Okay, I'm about to show you. So here's a schematic of a cross section through a watch, uh, if you like, and this is the base metal, which is the watch case, and that could be comprised of any number of stainless steel uh, alloys if the watch is made from stainless steel, and most watches are these days. So that could be SUS 405, 430, 434, 444, 429, 403F, etc., etc., etc. So all sorts of stainless steels here. Then it comprises... Now we have these coatings on top of here, and it comprises of what's known as a bottom layer, a reflective layer, and a precision work layer. Now the watch manufacturer is going to put special coatings on here, basically on a molecular basis. And what is this bottom layer? Well, the bottom layer can be uh, any of the following. It can be like titanium nitrides, it can be titanium carbonitrides, it can be carbides, um, so those metals could be any number of, obviously, as I just said, titanium. It could be zirconium as well, and hafnium. These kinds of metals uh, can comprise in the bottom layer. So these are actually ceramics, as you can see, a type of a ceramic on there, and that actually increases the surface hardness of the base metal. Now the challenge for the watchmaker in putting a gold coating or a gold tone, if you like, it's really more accurate to say a gold tone because when you see the words gold tone or hear the words gold tone, it does not mean solid gold on the watch. And in order to try to achieve the look of gold or the gold tone, if you put just like titanium nitride, many of you have seen, you know, titanium nitride coated drill bits, machinery parts, and it has a kind of gold look to it but it's not exactly, it doesn't look like exactly like gold. It doesn't have that luminance, uh, luminance uh, of what gold does, that, that special way it reacts with the light and how we perceive it with the human eye. So it's not good enough just to put these kinds of ceramic coatings on the, on the base metal and leave it at that and call it a gold tone. What they can do is, on top of this or within this layer too, they can put down what's known as a reflective layer and that will enhance this layer too. And the reflective layer is uh, primarily composed of metals such as ruthenium, uh, palladium, silver, osmium, iridium, platinum, etc., etc. And those metals uh, will reflect this gold look. So where does the real gold look come from? Well, that comes from the precision layer. What goes here are gold alloys, and they can be arbitrary gold alloys such as, but not limited to, things like uh, gold, copper, you can have you could have gold, copper, palladium alloys. So it just depends on what the manufacturer is going to use, you know. But that's where the gold comes in. So these you may notice here that gold copper is a common one. You know, you can have gold copper alloys of different um, combinations here. For example, you know, like nine carat gold is a it's not pure gold. It's it's gold alloy with copper. So that's what goes into the precision layer. So just to recap on that, so in the reflected layer, you've got metals, which are typically of high reflectance, such as silver, uh, ruthenium, iridium, or platinum, and they help to reflect the gold from in here uh, out towards the human eye and how the light comes in and reacts with all of that and how we perceive the gold coloration. So that's why they generally call it gold tone, because it's not... Um, solid gold is not, a, it's not like all this is solid gold applied to a base metal, that wouldn't work, it would wear off here pretty quickly, it's got to be applied to a very hard level, because generally these base metal uh, stainless steels that are used here are, are quite soft, you know, they're not, they're not like made out of knife stainless steels, they're softer, much softer stainless steels, they've got high corrosion resistance, the upshot of these coatings are too that they generally make these base metals, these uh, stainless steels are not you know, known to be really hard stainless steel so they actually increase the surface hardness by having this bottom layer of these um, ceramics uh, placed on top of them there.